All right, so first question, just tell us about the camp and how it's gone and how you, uh, how prepared are you for this fight? Um, the camp has gone great. I mean, for, especially for it being during Christmas time where, you know, people were taking breaks and I've had a lot of consistent training partners. So, you know, Robert Drysdale has been here a lot and Dewey was gone for a week, but, you know, he's been training with me five, six days a week. And, you know, I had consistent sparring partners and training partners. So, you know, the camp has gone very well. It was injury free. Um, I had a lot of great training. My weight's been the best it's ever been in the camp. So, you know, I feel ready and ready to go. Every, four, every fight is important for a fighter in a career. Um, but this one maybe more so for you, a lot of expectations should you come through this successfully. So do you feel a little more pressure on your end to, to really perform at your best this fight or, or is it the same as anyone else? Uh, I think I finally am fighting for myself. I mean, I, I fight, you know, for a lot of reasons, but I, I finally realized that I, I'm the only person putting in the work, so I, I don't feel outside pressure from people anymore or, mm -hmm. you know, when you do that, I think you carry more into the cage with you than you should. So I don't feel any pressure. You know, this is what I love to do, and that's what the way I look at it now. It's just like train hard, and this is when I get to go and have some fun. Uh, there was a lot of talk about you before this fight, um, either fighting on a UFC card not too long ago or, you know, fighting for a, a title should you come through this successfully. So do you believe that? Are you looking at this as an audition for either the UFC or Invicta FC title? Uh, you know, the end goal, everybody wants to end up in the UFC, you know, that's, that's where you want to be. That's where all the best of the best fighters are, you know, that's, you know, like the NFL of, of, uh, fighting. So, I mean, obviously that's always in the back of my head right now. I'm just worried about this fight, you know, and making sure that I come out with a win. Well, uh, speaking of Colleen, what, what challenges does she present for you in the cage? What are you really looking out for? And, and what does she have to watch out for you? Uh, you know, I think that Colleen, um, you know, a lot of people might overlook her, but I don't like, I, I take every opponent very seriously. And I think that she has something everywhere. You know, a lot of fighters are one dimensional. They're, they're good at one or two things, but she has good strike. She has great striking. She has um, wrestling. She has, you know, finishes like by submission also. So she's, you know, I, I think she has something everywhere. And, you know, I, I think she's a almost the same fighter as me, except I just think I'm a lot better. You know, I'm a lot better everywhere. I'm, uh, you know, my base is wrestling and I have great striking and, you know, my jiu-jitsu, I've been, you know, multiple time world champion jiu-jitsu. So I think that, you know, she has something to offer everywhere, but I just think that I'm better everywhere. Are you someone that watches tapes of your opponents or do you figure that it's better they worry about you than you worry about them? I used to do that a lot before, and I think that sometimes you build your opponent up to be this monster in your head when you constantly think about the things that they're good at. Um, I think I'm in a better place now where I feel comfortable everywhere, so I don't really care where the fight goes. If you want to stand, we can stand. If you want to wrestle, we can wrestle. If you want to, you know, put me on my back, or if you want, you know, if I put you on your back, I'm comfortable on top of comfortable on bottom. So I don't really watch that much tape. My coaches will. They'll put together the game plan. I watch a little bit. I, I try not to obsess over them. I just try to worry about this. Tell us a little bit, just wrapping up about Invicta. Uh, it's been a great platform for, for females. Um, you know, you're in a boxing gym with Floyd's a lot, so you see the women boxers have a difficult time, but yeah. be it the women's uh, mixed martial arts, um, women's MMA has really taken off. Yeah. Um, tell us what Invicta has meant for, uh, for female athletes like yourself and, and uh, you know, where you see it going in the future. Yeah, you know, I think Invicta is doing a really big thing for women's MMA. You know, they started, I think, back in 2012, so they have, you know, three and a half, almost four years now. But uh, they, you know, they're giving us a place to shine. They're giving us, yeah, you go to any <clears throat> event for, you know, I'd say at least 80% of the time, if there's a female fight on the card, 80% of the time, the women are the most exciting fights. You know, they're who put people on their feet and they get people excited because they there's something about women who... I, I don't know what it is, but they, they're willing to put it all on the line. You know, I'm not saying that men, men fighters don't, but I think most of the time women, women do it more than men. You know, so I, I, I always feel like uh, the women are the most exciting fights. And if you can get nine or ten of them on a card, like, that is, you know, it's a good night. You know, and Invicta's given us an opportunity to, you know, show what we have, and they're continue, continually finding new talent. And I think, you know, they're, they're doing a really good thing, like Shannon and... And um, Shannon and Julie is doing something really good for us. All right. Well, uh, walk us through the fight. I'm sure you played that in your mind. So those exciting women's fights, how are we going to see your fight Saturday night? 
you're gonna see me finishing the fight and with my hands raised at the end. All right, Raquel, we uh, look forward to it, and uh, best of luck to you. Thank you. Only